and gentlemen, this is Ron Moten and the Ron Moten Show. As promised, DC Music got their footage to me. That's right, DC Music, movement uplifting, safe, independent communities, came together at Busboys and Poets for something special to start a movement to address our music being taken away from us, address our culture being taken away from us, address the fact that our children are not getting educated, address the fact that we have not come together economically to be a force to be reckoned with, to address the fact that we have not come together with an agenda to, to make sure no matter who's in the office, they address our agenda. Take care of yourself as you watch this footage because it's so uplifting. I don't want you to fall off the chair. Now, in saying that, do not miss Bus Boys and Poets this Monday as we celebrate King's birthday with a documentary that will blow your mind. Why? Because it shows how people in the music industry and children and a few adults who had the heart to stand up like some people need to stand up to what's going on in our community now came together and brought about change. So this, this Monday, don't you miss Bus Boys and Poets at 5 to 7 p.m. Don't you miss the, the U Street picture that morning. Don't you miss the march going down Martin Luther King Avenue right after that, and then we come into Bus Boys and Poets. And if you want to take your children over St. Elizabeth, they got something going on over there as well. But this is a powerful week as we come together to fulfill the dream. If you're scared to fulfill the dream, move to the side, because we coming full steam ahead. Peace and love. Watch the footage. Ron Mo. God bless you. See, we can't make up excuses not to fight for what we want, because negative things happen when positive people do nothing. And it's not that we have so many bad people out here, it's that we have so many good people who are not doing anything. So we have to come together as one and fight for what's right for all of us. No more. And I want everybody to know that we, when I say we, it's not Ron Moten. Ron Moten and other folk have been meeting for months, talking about brainstorming, about coming up with some type of initiative to uplift the people who are suffering in the DMV. <coughs> This is not just about go-go. The go-go thing is real important because when you take a person's music and culture away from them, then you're taking their spirit away from them. Don't get brought into this thing about affordable housing. A million dollar house is affordable for somebody, just nobody in this room. Kids, when I was young, I had two twin boys at 19. But through that, I still went to college. I still, when I said, I'm gonna make 30,000, then I'm gonna be all right. Then I'm gonna make 40,000, then I'm gonna be all right. Then I'm gonna make 50,000, and then I'm gonna be all right. Then I'm gonna make 60,000. And you know what, it kept going up because I'm was i still not all right. <laughs> How can we be better? How can we be better if every, every time we think we succeed, they say, oh no, you're still not good enough. You got an education, oh, you're still not good enough. Oh, you, you got a couple dollars in the bank, you still not good enough. <laughs> so that's one of the reasons why me and Mo came together and um, among other things, getting the people engaged, getting the youth engaged, because even with the special election last year, we had about 5% of our residents voting in War 7 and 8, 5%. And uh, of course, if you're taking it down south, you know we can, we can take over All right. wherever we need to go. Um, so I'm here, and uh, we got to come together. This unity is a must. It, it's vital. But it needs to be more than just one person. Two people here. We just need to link up. Once we do that as a movement, then, okay, well, you said it. Okay, well, okay, okay, okay. you're right. Okay. No, no, I'm just saying, because I'm gonna say why I'm not saying why. 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 I'
music education, starting with the go-go music and the music that the kids want to listen to, but including the history of music. Duke Ellington is the Beethoven of American music in the 20th century, and if kids do not know who Duke Ellington is, who was born and raised here in Washington, D.C., then how can they know who they are? And as an African-American community, what we discover is, is that the richest county for African Americans is what? PG County, yeah. it, right? Yep. Yeah. But when you put the debt to income ratio, because of the fact that a lot of them houses just got foreclosed on, a lot of that kind of stuff that happened. We have done all we can do on our own. Now let's see what we can do together. Because how many of y'all remember that movie of Emilyville Hall? You remember that, John? You remember that voice saying, kid? <laughs> That's what they are screaming right now. Yes. And until we do something different, we're going to be the dinosaurs out this jungle. Okay? And the only thing's going to be left is black churches. We're going to be looking like Georgetown. Okay? For real.